Hey legends, welcome back to a new episode. Um, we're just in the back of the Y62 today, going to do an install for some gear on the ARB base rack. Um, the gear provided today was from Ray's products. Um, for disclaimer, they did provide me the products for free. Um, basically, they've only just really started um, pushing out some gears for the ARB base rack, um, and we'd already been using some of their products, like the, um, which you might have seen previously, their, uh, their raised shelf. Um, this one here. Um, and so far, yeah, uh, that doesn't rattle at all. It's nice and strong um, using the supports of the back seats and the handles for the third row in the Y62 and not, no problems with it all. You might have seen a cable hanging. I probably should have fixed that up, but basically it's because it has an integrated light, light shelf uh, and I had some magnetic lights from my previous camping gear from, uh, I can't remember, I can't remember that, light force or something. It, it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, they do a magnetic light, but... Uh, it doesn't, I've only got the two 500, so not the one meter. So yeah, still got to play around with that and I want to get it wide and a bit neater. Um, but having that light shelf there in there when at night time, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's not for today. Um, and yeah, so the products I'll be doing today is this one here. So I've already done one up. Um, this is the Yakima shovel mount, which you can buy for anything. Um, but this is the attachment for the ARB base rack. Um, so yeah, quite neat shovel holder, um, all that kind of good stuff, or even like, you know, whatever you need uh, on the roof, either uh, axe or maybe even a fishing rod. Um, but yeah, pretty keen to get this on, on the top because definitely need a decent shovel, all that kind of stuff, because we do intend to do a fair bit of like decent four driving, um, off grid, all that kind of good gear. Um, but this is the one I've been waiting for a while to get uh, for them to uh, manufacture and yeah, really keen. So this is the flush mount max tracks. So um, if your max tracks aren't on, um, you can just like lay them flat and all lays in flat with the max tracks. Um, the reason I've gone for this one is because I'm still undecided what I want to put on the roof. Would that be a tinny or some type of inflatable boat? So when I've, you know, if, if I do go that down that path, I'll have to. Two seconds. I've just seen Noah. Sorry about the little cut then and run away. Um, no, I just woke up from his nap a little bit earlier than expected, but that's okay. Hey, mate, I'm a little pirate. Um, so, yeah, uh, we'll do this install shortly. I'll take you through it. Um, I'll show you all the products uh, in detail, how easy was it to install. And, yeah, I'll show you how it goes, and then probably six months or so, um, keep a lookout, because, yeah, I'll always do a bit of a review the, through Instagram, all that kind of gear. Um, but, yeah, Rob and the team over there, um, Raised Products, are, yeah, been great to talk to and and chat to about different products um, come coming through so make sure you give them a check out on Facebook uh, all that kind of stuff it's always good to support Australian company when you can so yeah I think they're pretty well priced what do you reckon what, what do you reckon shut. where shut inside. you want to go inside oh but we've got to install this huh? It's hot. Oh, are you going to help me with the tools? No. Oh, who's going to install it then? My daddy. Oh, but I can't do it myself. <gasps> Alright, we'll see you in a minute. Yeah, so I'll be doing all my installs in the back of the Y62 pretty much from now on. Um, or the van, I suppose, because we are almost... Oh, by the time this probably airs, definitely uh, will be the last few days of owning a home. Uh, so, yeah, pretty exciting for us. Last couple of ticks and before we hit the road and... Um, and yeah, so I thought I might as well, even though we are staying at my folks' place, um, thought I might as well start using all the tools that I carry in the car just in case I think I've, I've missed something when I'll be doing these little installs or little mods as we go around. You just undo these bolts, and this clamp is what clamps to the um, ARB base rack. Now, I did have a um, Rhino rack base, a uh, platform rack on the last car, but the reason why I went with ARB this time was because it's the lowest profile on the Y62. Um, but definitely the AR... Um, the Rhino has so much like little add-ons you can, so that was pretty handy, but yeah, otherwise I'm, the products are slowly coming better for the ARB base rack, so still good to have that low profile rack. And I don't think, um, you know, ARB it is expensive, but any time I've ever had any issues with ARB, like stuff failing or whatever, I've always been able to like just walk in and pretty much swap it out, so yeah, I suppose that's a couple, a couple of stuff you have to think about. Um, issues 
Alright, I'll just open this packet. Yeah, it came with all like stainless steel gear, all um, what do you call uh, lock nuts, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty nice. It's going to be sitting in the weather. You need all that kind of good stuff. So I'll just loosely put them on now. If you do like these type of install videos, like let us know because I do um, try and do as much as I can on the car. Obviously, a lot of it. I have got done professionally but you know now I've got like the pretty much my starting point all these little like top of mods and especially when we get the caravan in two weeks um you know there's heaps of little things I'll be wanting to do that to that as well uh, I'll take you up on the roof just one bolt now I'm actually only just going to loosen it put them on um, not too tight because just in case when I go get the max tracks I might need a slight adjusting or something like that. So the next one is a little shovel holder. So I've already made one up. It's pretty much will sit like this on the side of the car. Grips in like this. Um, so a little grip. Um, so yeah, you use it for a shovel, even an axe or anything like that. So yeah, I'll um, jump these on. Comes with a lock, all that kind of stuff. But I'll quickly build the second one for you. So pretty easy. Undo the screw. Allen key. And it's all one size as well um, with the Allen key stuff they use. So one size fits all, which is nice. You need to open up your handle and you've got a bolt in there. Just chuck this bad boy through. Comes with two that other pieces for a different rack. So you chuck that through. Do your washer. Your lock nut. If you, if you want to know, they're M6 size. So then you just grab the bottom back on. You want to attach it loosely. Slide it over that base rack grip mechanism. There they are, ready to go. Jump back up. Oh, I've already chucked one on. Chuck the other one on, so it just slides on like that. Hold it as it grips. Now, I don't know if I'm, I might actually move this out to the back, um, but you know, see how we go. With these ones, they actually bolt on really easy and don't use the lock nuts, so you can easily like tighten them and move them around. Same as the grip handles. Um, I did have one grip handle on the other side of the car, but now I've got the, um, the awning, so chuck that in nice and tight. And that's pretty much the install done. Go down to ARB, get some Max Trucks, I'll take you with me. Let's go for a drive. So I just realized I um, had one of them back to front um, after looking at the instructions. Uh, it pays to do that sometimes, doesn't it? So um, obviously the raised um, emblem. So just make sure when you do it, they're like facing, you know, the two points are facing one another. Just did a test, uh, she goes on now. Easy as, that's good. I'll, um, Chuck all four on now, which is pretty cool. Um, actually, I'll quickly show you this. I didn't show you this. So, look. so like when you're not in use, or you know, you've got something else going on that you want to chuck on the roof rack. Right? Obviously, you're not traveling full time. How cool is that? So, still a nice smooth bar. Your max tracks, you know, even though I'm going to put the lock on, you know, safe, uh, keep them out of the sun, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. How good is that? But as we've got the four drive comp, Oh, four drive uh, tomorrow of two days the um, Y62 meet up chuck them on all right let's go
does come with a little extra. Max tracks in there orange. Nice cool little lock, but um probably have to find a black one. Chuck a couple locks on them. Still haven't decided what shovel I want to buy. Um, looked at Mean Mother, like Anaconda before. The Bunnings ones didn't really not the Bunnings ones, the um the ones from BCF didn't really impress me that much, just heavy. They were heavy, so anyway. In. Well, there she is. Obviously, it did take a bit longer because it included school pickup and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, no, I'm pretty happy how they look. Sits quite nice, easy to get to from here. Um, just remember if you do get them, face the two uh, triangles to one it to either, and then on she goes. And they, they fit their Max Trucks MK2s. And BCF, they're in black. Um, obviously, you can order them online, all that kind of good stuff as well. Max Trek was really good. I did give them a call. I don't know if I've mentioned already and gave me a few options um, after I was unsuccessful at ARB, but yeah. All right, cheers for watching. If you got this far, I um, hope you like that little install of the flush mount Max Trax holders from Raised, and obviously that little install with the um, shovel holder as well that's taken the Yakam here. Holders. I probably said that wrong I don't know how many times in this episode but um yeah I hope you liked it um chuck a comment below if you like that um those max tracks holders or if you've got any questions um and if you've got a full length shovel and you want to give us some tips yeah chuck a comment on that as well all right thanks for tuning in guys and we'll see you next time cheers